Bobby June, you been on vacation? Maybe a cruise? Oh, hush up, girl. You know it's my new line of Bobby June by City Inspired Tanning Sprays. Oh, yes. It looks fantastic and naturally orange. Bobby June by City Inspired Tanning Sprays are available wherever tanning sprays are sold while supplies last. Okay, no more of this. Let's get on with the show and on with the cooking. Today, we're going to make ribs. Pickled braised gopher ribs with ranch dressing and a blue cheese dip combo. Slow cook, y'all, till the meat is just falling off the bone. Now, I love me gopher ribs because they're tiny. You know when you have lots of time? When you're put in jail for robbing a bank and putting down a load of cops. You don't have time right now. Get out of there as quick as you can. <laughs> really? Me? Now, did y'all know that in some parts of the country, you can, in self-defense, shoot anyone you believe is using sorcery on you? Yeah, you gotta stand your ground, honey. I ain't no witch or warlock gonna tell me what to do. <laughs> now, speaking of standing your ground, here's a man that doesn't back down from a fight. Keep going, keep going. Don't worry about the cops. Worry about getting to the canyon. For him. And he's rising up the ranks of politics in San Andreas by giving us policies we can all understand. Now, if we have anything to do with it, he's going to be our next governor. Please welcome the one, the only, Jock Cranley. Bless your heart, Bobby June. You know something? <laughs> hey, folks, thanks. Jock, get yourself in here in my kitchen. Bless your heart, Jock. Wow, thanks. I, I, I love you, too. Let, let me just tell you something real important, all of you. Bobby June, I'm a big fan of your immunization fight. A big fan. Because I think we're all sick of government telling us how to live, where we can drive, what we can put into our bodies. Ain't that the God's honest truth? Bless your heart. Finally, someone telling it like it is. It ain't government's place to tell us stuff, aside from the things that matter, like what marriage is, as if we didn't already know, and which human rights violate and foreign dictators to turn a blind eye to in exchange for cheap oil. Listen. Okay. I've been on a listening tour of the state. 
I saw your bus. It looks real fun out there. Who were all them girls suntanning on the top? Those your nieces? Uh, yes. I'm about family, Bobby June. I've had three of them. Listen, I ain't a big believer in mumbo-jumbo or economics or any of that crap, pardon my French, but gas prices are the very basis of our economy here in San Andreas, which is why, under my govern, under my governing gubernatorialness, uh, why, why, under me, we will ensure gas remains entirely untaxed. After all, I was always taught what is good for the goose is good for the gander. Oh, that is so true. I mean, when I think of liberals, Jock, I remember what my mamma said. Hey, even the stock clock is right twice a day. You said it, Bobby June. We're turning the clock. Under me, I'm about jobs and I'm about families. I've had three families and I've learned from my mistakes. I think people know... Okay, now this next bit's gonna sound... Uh... largest economy. Hey, I know how to jump out of a burning building. As soon as you're airborne, ditch your bikes and start gliding. That's easy, right? Coming from a guy who uh, walks with a cane. <laughs> Special screening of my latest movie. It was to bring smiles and hope during the bleakest of times. Thanks to all that showed up, by the way. And with our cut of food and beverage concessions, it was a great positive event. Bless your heart. So are you gonna help me cook this here supper or what, Jog? It would be my pleasure. So let's get in here. Let me grab some pots and pans and the fats and the salt and some butter. We're gonna need a little brown sugar, some margarine, baked beans, pork rinds, marshmallows, barbecue sauce, of course. <laughs> oh, white sugar, white lightning, and the bacon. Hey, bacon's God's way of saying he loves us. Ain't that right? Listen, Jock, before we get started, now you mentioned it earlier, I'm really fired up about vaccines and immunization in this country. And I mean, these shots will give you a disease and wait for your body to just fight it out. It's horrible. Listen, we never got my stepson Randy shots, and he was just happy as a peach, living his life to the fullest right up to the end when he died. Got an advantage on the cops right now. are all after me and I said well hell of course Randy you sweet little angel bless your heart and I did I called it cripples crock pot available in the frozen food section of your local supermarket while supplies last that sounds delicious oh honey it is it's one of my favorite recipes now then we took little Randy's body outside and you know all his little stuffed animals and everything that was about him and made a bonfire and roasted a pig and had a potluck supper with all our neighbors now that's how you work through grief by surrounding yourself with friends and family and plowing through it with peach schnapps and cocktail wieners tater top pie and soda pudding oh, comfort foods are for when you need comforting that's why they call them comfort foods if i'm mourning a polio ridden stepchild i ain't gonna cry into a salad am i no i'm gonna rejoice the early passing of my dearest by making a big old batch of beef enchiladas that will shut down the blood to your brain and let you live in the moment you see that boat in the creek that's where you're you are so right, Bobby. And I have to say, these here whores d'oeuvres or hoopers d'oeuvres or advertisers are delightful. Mm -mm. Thank you, honey. I like to call them whores ovaries. Tastes great at first, but then you realize everyone else has stuck their fingers in the pudding. Also, I can't say anything in French. The only good thing that ever came out of France was the pizza. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Take back the Statue of Happiness. It's ugly. Got a face like a sour fish. She's just in a bad mood, isn't she? Speaking of French people, Jock, I want to talk to you about what you...
did it. <laughs> Ooh, I know I didn't do that much, but you, you, oh, you. You know, I thought you were just a bunch of uh, creepy and quiet weirdos. Turns out you're a bunch of creepy, quiet weirdos with talent. You, you rob and you steal and destroy like, like geniuses. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Here, let me uh, wire you your money. You know, <laughs> I will never forget the good times, all the, the laughs we had. You're like family. The picnic, the picnic, <laughs> and the hike in the woods, and all the selfies, and <laughs> oh, and the time we went rollerblading, and we, we watched the, the sunset, and we, we stayed up all night talking and sharing our innermost fears, and, and then, what, what the, that wasn't you? That, even the, the skinny dipping and the... Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh. <laughs> I, uh... The drugs. Oh, man, the drugs. I'm a... I am a heavily medicated man. I, uh... <laughs> I'm not well at all. I, uh... I'm a little embarrassed. Um... Okay, the money. Here. And... Here. And... Here. And... Here, okay, you better take off and uh, take care, okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>